Will, you don't have to do any of this. You don't have to do a single thing AJ is saying to you. You don't have to make any of these choices. But where you will reside in the spirit world and how happy you will be here will depend on how much love is in your soul. Yeah? Can you ask God just to take control of your life and do what you mean to do? No, God doesn't want control of your life. Well, what if you're willing to leave? Well, he still doesn't want control of your life. Why would, he give, why would he give you the gift of free will and then say, give it back to me? That's what he wants you to learn how to take full control of your own life. That's what he wants. But he wants you to understand that it's all soul control. It's all based on the soul. The emotions, the passions, the desires and all those things. It's not based on your intellect. That's what he wants. He wants you to experience her, his love to its full capacity infinitely. That's what he wants. But he doesn't want to ever take control of your life. Because in fact that would be harmful, very harmful to your free will. In the uh, uh, CDs, the DVDs that you saw, remember there was a channeling that Natalie did of Lucinda? Yeah? You remember Lucinda was in the sixth sphere and then she had to work through some emotional issues by coming back to the third and then she rapidly progressed into the celestial spheres. And she was asked the question by one of the audience members, I don't know if you remember, they said, did you have to surrender to God? And do you remember her answer? Like, she said, no. It's the opposite to that. Right? By receiving divine love, I'm growing towards God, but I'm not surrendering to God, because God doesn't <coughs> want me to surrender to Him. What God wants me to do is to become God-reliant, and that's a totally different thing than surrendering my entire will to somebody else. So you will in fact grow in the expression of your free will. Your free will become more powerful, not less powerful. So what's the difference between relying on God and asking God for help? Well, they're both the same thing. That's a totally different thing, though, to surrendering to God, in the sense of surrendering my will to God. Right? So you know a lot of religious faiths say that you've got to actually surrender your entire will. You no longer have your own will. You do whatever God tells you to do. Right? What God wants is for you to listen to God just like you would listen to a friend. Right? And act upon things that God is telling you if that's what you want. God doesn't want to force you. Do you want to force your own children? Like, you have a child. Do you then sit down with the child and say, Now, I brought you into this world <laughs> and you're going to do absolutely everything I'm saying. How do you people say that? How do you people say that? But do you? Do you, feel, do you feel that's loving? Is that loving to say that? What's that doing? Taking away their free will. It's taking away their free will. Why, if you wouldn't do it, why do you think God would? God's a better parent than you are. So why would you feel that God would take away your free will? 